Ipswich Buses, your local bus company serving your football team. Buses run every 10 minutes. Avoid the traffic. Don't get stuck in the delay. Get Ipswich Buses today. A single from only £1.20, a return from only £2. Find out more information at www.ipswichbuses.co.uk. Ipswich Buses, proud to partner with Talking Town. Hello again, my friends, and you are my friends, and welcome to your platform, the platform for fans, by fans of It's Just Town Football Club. I'm your host, The Gov, with you a lot sooner than I thought I would be on this Saturday evening, the 4th of December, 20 past seven, eight nearly, um, because, you know, sadly, breaking news from the club, um, manager Paul Cook has, and he said Paul Lambert, manager Paul Cook has uh, been relieved of his duties, so... I mean, first and foremost, I'd like to, you know, say thank you to Paul. As, as I'm sure many of you follow me on Twitter, I'd like to say thank you to Paul for, you know, giving us that belief back, uh, reinvigorating some fans. Some of the some, some fans I know drifted away; I've never been so excited as they were this summer. Uh, and thank you for clearing out a lot of, you know, of the dead wood. It has to be said. Um, you're a fine man, and you are a fine man. And I really wish it had gone well for you here. And you're a good manager, and you will be a good manager again. Um, sadly, it's not going to be with us. So, um, thank you. Um, but thanks very much, I guess. Um, this is a live chat. We've got live comments. We've got a live chat for you to get involved with. Live link. In case you've never been here before, it's your platform to have your say. You choose it. The chats will be read out. I'm hoping I've got no haddock around the mush. Uh, we will proceed as we do not. Um, Let's start, first of all, though, with the club statement, courtesy of itfc.co.uk. I will try and make that bigger for you. Uh, leave the jokes in the chat. There we go. Uh, so it's very it's very brief. It says, Richard Apple Club confirmed that Major Paul Cook has been relieved of his duties. Uh, town CEO Mark Ashton said, firstly, we'd like to thank Paul and his team for their efforts in what's been a difficult transition period for everyone. I know how much Paul wants to succeed at this club. However... Following discussions with the board, we have decided a change is needed for our long-term interest. The board, I believe, is Mark Ashton, uh, uh, and the game change is true, obviously. Um, at this moment, there is no one lined up to replace Paul. There will be an extensive search to find the best replacement for the club. I will communicate more to the media and our supporters on Monday. Um, so that's that's the word of, of the football club. We've already had some comment from some of the players, James Norwood on Twitter. Uh, said thanks for everything. Uh, he said, go see the gaffer, gaffer go. We have a great relationship on off the field. He was up against it for a module of reasons this season. And I generally wish him the best for in the future. We've heard, we've heard from our captain, Sam Morsey, for those that aren't on social media. This obviously will be something that you want to be seeing, I guess, um, where Sam Morsey says... Got for the manager, great manager and a great man, brought us all to the club and we haven't been good enough for him. We must take responsibility now and move forward. If anything else comes in while I'm live, I'll try and get it on the screen for you uh, to give you you know, the most up-to-date stuff that we can. What I would say is, obviously, Morsi there saying the players haven't been good enough. I know a lot of fans have felt the same way as well. So if you're one of those fans, love to hear from you tonight. Get involved. There'll be a live link to come on the same show and have your say. Because this throws up, obviously, a multitude of questions. Who's next? Who's going to be manager of our football club? Would it be a manager or would it be my preferred route of a head coach style gig? We're also going to obviously discuss some people will be will be happy. Some won't be happy. Um, lots of questions. Is it the right move? Is this Dipshire's town of the future? Is this going against what we've, we've known before as a town fan? So, so many different things. And we'd love you to, to help us sort of unpack it. Uh, as we should together it's your as i say it's your platform for fans by fans live link is now in the chat let's get a few comments and i'm welcoming we've got peter cox joining me brick top and um curtis yates so some different opinions coming in already we've got lewis knock let's hope for a manager bounce this time louis fenton i'm shocked by this i thought he'd be given the whole season rob smith big clear out of his backroom staff coming to simon harris the board need to back new boss with money well I'm sure they probably were if they feel the squad needs that. But 19 new signings in the summer, you may get three or four not work out, but 19? 
come on, there's there's some quality within the squad. I, I do believe that. John Ipswich, I rejoined, I rejoined as a syndicate partly because of Paul Cook. There you go. Um, so interesting to hear your thoughts tonight, tonight, John. Sophie, I'm happy they've done it with a chance to turn the season around. Um, Colin Plum, coaching staff not good enough. I think Colin's going to join us at some point this evening. Uh, you, go back and watch the full-time show, probably tomorrow morning um, or, or whenever you want to. But it's an interesting watch now. Obviously, we know what happens. But, you know, when you're hearing people like Rich Moss, Matt Phillips, Colin, the way they were, uh, and the afternoon was particularly bad. Um, Boy Robson Blue Boys, Pigger is Ipswich's Van Der Beek. Um, please don't get under Paul, says uh, Mark Smith. Chris Boyd, he had 44 games, effectively a season. His body of work wasn't good enough, either with either what he inherited in March or with resources made available to him in the summer. Paul Hunsip, players had to take responsibility, but it was Paul Cook's lack of plan B that got him the sack. And might be time for, a, for to have a finally appoint a foreign manager. Please move into 21st century progressive type. I'll bring Coxie in first. Coxie, welcome in, my man. Um, Hello. I didn't think I'd be seeing you this soon after a, no. I was with the match day ticket, but here we are. Manager Paul Cook sadly uh, removed from his duty. And I will continue to say sadly because it is always sad when somebody you know, obviously loses their job, whether you think that was the right thing or not. I obviously I think it's the right thing. I will say on, on record, I've thought that since Bolson at home, that he wasn't the right man for the role. What do you think then, Coxie? What's your immediate thoughts? My immediate thoughts are it, it is a bit of a bittersweet moment. He, he you know, is going back, trying to you know, say some of the comments here. He he clearly was a nice guy. Um, we met him back on the pre-season friendly at uh, Barry. Oh gosh, I yeah. Didn't, I didn't get a chance to speak to him because I was with Colin, and Colin sort of got him <laughs> in front of me and the fishermen. But uh, yeah, yeah, he was. He sort of he, he listened to what Colin had to say, and it wasn't just lip syncing. It's lip, lip, lip syncing. He was actually mm. listening to the goat, and he was went to it. Yeah, a nice guy, but um, yeah, it, it's it's. It is a bit of sweet moment, but I, I think it wasn't working out. You know, we we I mean, no. you, you and I spoke before the game today. Both of us were in a bit of a, a grump, you know, because we. Were I was of, fuming this morning. Yeah, absolutely. He was fuming. Fuming. No, that was a bit of a grump because it was it is another. It's sort of... miserable being a town fan, and yeah. you know we had some excitement about it. And yeah, he's a nice guy, but let's be let's be real here and brutally honest for a moment, Pete. Football's been crap today. Was shocking. That was that. that was done. Well, it was it was the same at the Oldham game, wasn't it? We were just matched, if not beaten, on the field by teams who were down the bottom of League One, and it was the same today. We we didn't, you know, we we were marginally better when he sort of went again where he stuck two up front, which is a bit of a miracle. But uh, yeah, they they started linking up. So we were slightly better in the second half, but the first half was good. God, that was terrible, wasn't it? It was. It was. And, and, and the fourth, it was interesting because Matt Phillips is himself still in person. It was an interesting time to go 4 4 2, having mm. never really done it this season yet. Was it does seem now, in retrospective, with Harry Hindsight, a bit of a desperation move, didn't it, really? Like we, yeah. Too um, little, too late. Yeah. It was too little, too late. And that will be the, I think, when we look back in, even now, even as we sit here in the, the ashes of, of the Paul Cook rain, I guess. His 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 fundamental desire to well not desire but just lack of ability to change a game or formation is what's really led us down this path, isn't it? Well, as somebody said in the comments, there is it was their opinion. They said the it's a lack of plan B that actually cost him his job. But I don't think he really knew what plan A was totally. Well, this is it. I'll bring in Curtis Yates to join, the, join us. Curtis, thanks for joining us. I know it's all last minute. I sent a message around to everybody. I'm glad you took up the baton with us. What are your immediate thoughts with? And I imagine that you, you, you know, it's fair to say, wasn't the biggest fan of. What have you seen, and how, and how do you feel now? Listen, listen. I will, I will support any manager that 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 comes into my football club. I, I supported Lambert. I supported Mick McCarthy, I supported Jewel, I supported Hurst. I will support every single manager that comes into my club in the hope that they can bring me some good fortune because unlike my dad who got to witness some fantastic moments, I've not got to witness such fantastic moments. I've had to travel to Peterborough and watch us get dicked. I've I've had to make the short journey to Bloom for a road and watch us get dicked there. Like I've, I've, I've seen some horrendous moments in my time. So I will support any manager in the hope that he will get us to where we eventually want to be. Mm. The issue is with Cook is 
it it, it, it was Lambert syndrome. When, when Lambert first came in, we were we were saying that the football was a little bit better, albeit we weren't getting the results that we needed. A, a bit a bit like Cub, the football was a bit better, and we could see a way of playing. And then slowly, as Lambert went on, and again. He wasn't helped with the backing that Cook had, but slowly as the football went on under Lambert, the the football just went a bit rugged. It went a bit like meh. As as we remember watching watching games after games, and this season now, again we started with such optimism, and yeah, you, you know what? In the first few games, you you, you you could say like there's a there's a genuine style being tr- like trying to be played, and mm. I suppose the the excuse of gelling worked out, but. You got listen, listen. There's a reason why people judge Cook for the way he was. He set himself timescales. If if I'm if I'm being correct, if I remember now, he said he wanted his team to play to be all well and sorted before that Accrington away game. Yeah. Now, now when that game came around, we were anything but correct, yeah. correctly set up. We were we were absolutely awful in that game, I, and it was horrendous to watch. And since then. Yeah, we've had flash in the pan moments. We've had flash in the pan moments this season. We've had the Doncaster game. We've had the Porsche game. We've had the Wickham game. But without me funny, these mediocre mid-table League One sides, they're bound to spring up a result or a result or two during a season when, let's face it, they're going to finish mid-table. It, it happens because they're known as coupon busters. Mm. But but this season we weren't we weren't expected to be no. a, a mid-table team. This is this is why. This is well. This is why the decision has been made now. Yes, we, to we, save this season. Ex- exactly. Uh, I mean, and, and, and no one can tell me now that these owners meant the season to be a building season now because well, if, yeah. it, if it was a bit, if it was not with these signings now. Yeah, well, I think I, th- I think a little bit yes because uh, you know, but but not but not eleventh, not thirteenth, well, not you know. We're talking seventh on the periphery, yeah, if anything, looking in, but 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 looking like we we're going to break in. But but I feel like if we were seventh. Then I, I actually, I actually feel like if we're eight, seven, hanging around it a bit, I feel like, like, and, let, and let's discount the cup games that we've had where shocking performances have been put in. I feel like if we were eight, seven, then he possibly would have afforded till January, and then we'd have probably reevaluated at the end of January, depending on the results going through there. But it's the fact we're eleventh. We're, we're eleventh, and I mean, luckily, I was able to watch. I was able to watch the FA Cup game on ESPN mm-hmm. Plus. Um, you lucky bastard! Yeah, <laughs> like, right to go and freeze yeah. freeze the proverbials off. But um, oh, but oh, obviously, oh, I'll oh, just give oh, a big oh, shout out before. Sorry, Kurt, to the to the the media mogul Matt Phillips, who did say on the fans react full time show that he probably you know, possibly wouldn't be here. Uh, what was his words exactly? Exact, he said he won't be here for pack out, and obviously that pack out PR thing is coming up. And yeah. you didn't want this sort of rumbling on. I'll get a few comments from from the live chat. I'm still watching the socials for any more fan, uh, any more team uh, player reaction, etc. Uh, any more information? We've got Rob Smith. The team have not performed for last nine games. Yeah, that's quite interesting. Last ten games, just to put some meat on what you were saying there, Kurt. Played ten, won five, but you've beaten Shrewsbury, which you, any Ipswich Town team, I'm sorry, should be expected to beat Shrewsbury. That should just be a tick. Drew with Cambridge, which should have been a one, a win. Two 0 up, cruising. Beat Portsmouth, great day. Fleetwood again, like Shrewsbury. No disrespect to Fleetwood. No, you know, Ipswich Town. Even mm. its worst hours should be expected to, to compete with, with Fleetwood. Plymouth, we got beat. Wickham, we absolutely annihilated. Drew of Oxford, didn't lay a glove on them, to be fair. Sunderland, we got beat. Rotherham. So when you come up against the contenders of the division, we were sort of rumbled a little bit. Uh, and that's obviously now coming up. I mean, December is brutal for well, contenders yeah. coming to Portman Road. I'm not even mentioning the fact that it took us it took us a wonder goal to actually beat the mighty crew. So oh, it, it, it was a good goal, though, wasn't it? You know, it was always a fantastic goal to watch, and it was just one of them you'll remember it for ages. But the sad fact is, it, it that was the goal that that sealed the win for us against mm. what is a, a dire league, league one side at the moment. Just in terms of investment, not a bad club, but in terms of investment on their side, they're not going to be. They shouldn't be bat- They shouldn't be battling us the way they did, and yep. they certainly was holding on to the edge of our seat for the last five minutes of the game. They shouldn't. They shouldn't be doing that. Um, <laughs> Yep, Matthew Dow without Liam Richardson, he was doomed from the beginning. He should never been our number yeah. one target, Simon Wall. But Martin, he said in the interview, he played four four two in August, September, October, November. Well, I'm no tactical genius, 
but I didn't see it. Interesting. Maybe on Football Manager. I don't know. Uh, John Thorpe. Interesting. Norwood saying Cook's hands were tied. Stephen Latimer. Uh, these American owners are very serious about taking our club forward. A change to be made. We can't play one up front. It's not the easiest way. Onwards and upwards. Let's get behind the team. I want to get in your, a few of your thoughts. We've got some people coming on. We've got Matty, I can see. Wait and bring him on in a second. We have the big bad goat coming on at some point. But I, I, I just want to say, I'm going to get your thoughts at some point, And I want the live chat's thoughts on this. Obviously, the Ipswich way is mentioned in there in terms of playing ability. Also, how we re- how we regard and treat our managers. So have a think about that because obviously we've always been known as the patient bunch, the guys that, that, that give managers maybe too long, some would say, but a long length of time. Is this now um, a, a movement a movement away from that? Is it a divergence? Is it a, a temporary route around it? You know, how how is this now the future of a football club under the new ownership, effectively a 21st century football club that reacts and doesn't you know reacts instead of with proactiveness instead of reacting with um a lost season alan richardson i liked pc as a person got it didn't work out but unfortunately his record was poor stuck to his system and it didn't work out the players have to look at themselves to be honest chris boyd we're back to where we were post mccarthy post hearst post lambert and we really and are we really in a better position this time around the long-term trend remains downwards despite the ownership change very interesting that point um I do want to. I do think we, we the, the, over the last decade, maybe longer, this club has dug itself into a really bad situation. We can see that. We know that. I do think Paul Cook has. He's not taken us completely out of that, but he's certainly given us a ladder out of it, and he's certainly laid some foundations for us to emerge from it. And that's why I started the show the way I did. Because I'll be I'll be forever grateful for the way he handled demolition summer. Uh, and obviously, that's not just him, but the way he sort of brought us back. And we we have dug ourselves a little bit of, of, of a tricky situation. Love the comments coming in. We've got a Facebook user. The Wickham game was Cook's biggest achievement as town manager, but the reality is the fans give the team a lift with the amazing way support he had. Little to do with Cook's tactics. Mike the Fishman, one thing I'll say, one thing we can't say is the owners aren't serious. Emerson, sure, yeah. the football, the last month has been no better than under Lambert. Simon Wall with a very distant squad who needs the right team behind it. Chris Wright, a totally necessary a totally necessary if brutal decision cooks in that's a big word chris for a saturday night after a beer um in yeah in tra- that word cost him his job we move on irvin nice to see you irvin cook paid price for not changing formation we have the players not the know-how mcgrill in charge for tuesday matty welcome in a lovely shirt you're wearing there they didn't get on well today they lost one nil um at home to rail beaters but How's that? importantly were you there yeah, yeah. I live in Barcelona this year, so... That oh, hola! Here, hola, fun. senor. Um, that's as much as my Spanish goes, apart from Amigo. Buenas noches. Yeah. Buenas noches, yeah. <laughs> Paul Cook, <laughs> he's gone. What do you think of that, Matty? Talk to us in your thoughts. I was just talking to my brother about this, and for me, it feels like a really sad breakup with a girlfriend, where I, it's kind of like, you know, you never, you never know when you're going to hear the last Paul Cook voice change until it's the last time. And suddenly we're never going to hear it ever again. And I think he's, he's a really likable guy and it's, it's mm. not working. But mm. I've got an opinion which I think is probably going to be quite unpopular. And very mm. frustrated with Mark Ashton. I, oh, I really... Matty, Matty, can um, you just start that again? Actually, I'm, can you start that hello? again? Because as you went to say it, I think the gremlins took over. Yep. I think maybe whoever you were going to have a go at no, <laughs> intercepted the feed. I don't know. But talk Mark to me again. Ashton. Is sorry, it okay? Sorry. What what about Mark Ashton? Particularly, are you not are you not happy with? To me, um, with two three weeks ago, we had this press conference where we were told that Paul Cook is going to have the season, and it's not the fact that it's been sacked; it's the fact that we've been sold this vision that Paul told at the beginning, and and lying once, lying now, and not not letting that happen means is the rest of this bullshit as well. Is the rest of this like culture diversity, uh, adversity, all this stuff? Is that is that is that true as well? Because as far as I'm concerned, if you say you're going to give a a, play, a manager a season at the beginning of the season and then in a mid-season conference and then two weeks later you sack them, that looks incredibly stupid. And I think a lot of the problem with with the disjointed team this season, with the lack of fluidity, the lack of um, the lack of gelling, the phrase that we all hate. Um, was inevitable when you get rid of 19 players. And when you look at the players that Paul Cook brought in, players that dropped down, Chaplin, Morsi, um, Mm -hmm. uh, Walton, and Lee Evans. Look at the players that Mark Ashton brought in that he knew from before. 
Harper and Edwards. There's a correlation there, and I, I'm starting to worry that he is taking this CEO role to, you know, he wants to be the director, the CEO, and a bit of the manager as well. We've seen the stuff with Norwood. It looks at, it, it, it's starting to look like Paul Cook actually likes Norwood and would have played him. And I firmly believe if Norwood, was, if Norwood was playing in the same position as Vaughn, with the same service as Wes Burns, from Wes Burns, he's probably getting 10, 12 as well. So that's my unpopular opinion, and people probably won't agree with it because he's the man that we all, we're all meant to love. But that's how, that's how I feel right now, and I'm really quite angry about this. Mm, I can yeah, tell I, that, I, yeah. I, I, I don't think that's. I don't think that opinion's as unpopular as you as you think it might be. I, th- I think if if I'm honest, it it worry it does worry me slightly, especially when I see Norwood's comments there. It does worry me slightly that possibly Ashton's he's got a little bit more of a say in terms of team selection than what I would like him to have uh, as a, a say in. We don't know uh, this though, do we? This is this, well, no, you know this is it is purely speculative speculation. But, um, but it, it's it's very it's very odd that. A player like James Norwood started the season. Bear in mind, in the preseason, we were told that he came back fit and firing. Uh, he was, he, in fact, but we I'm also sure. were told all players from the previous regime were available to to be to be sold. Um, very you know, very there was the player very left, very not for sale. Yeah, the first player we sold. Yeah, well, it was, uh, it was, it was weird first, how he first just... player we sold James Wilson, player of the year. James Wilson's gone. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I do. Th- I'm not quite. <sighs> I don't, I don't want to lay the blame at Mel, and, and I won't do. I, I, I'm, I, I think you're, you know, you've told your opinion, um, and, I, and I think you've articulated it very well. I just don't think, you know, four two three one has been Paul Cook's thorn in, in, in his side, if you like, because he's stuck with it. Philosophy, philosophy, philosophy. But he, you've got to have some adjustment with it, and in-game adjustments as well. You know, today was the first time, hand on heart, I've really seen an adjustment in a game from Paul Cook. And he's had nearly 46 games, which is a season. That shouldn't be the case. Um, but but this year alone has been the year he's he's really sort of doubled down on it. It's it's a good it's a good opinion, mate. It's an interesting one. Wasn't one I was expecting to be hearing tonight. Coxie, what are you you're quite up there about it? What what do you make of Matty's opinion? So interesting opinion. Yeah, it's, it's it's not the first person to sort of lay sort of a bit of um doubt at Mr. Ashton's door. Um yeah, it's a, it's, it's a, the, the 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 James Norwood's Twitter comment is is interesting. It's a bit cryptic. Mm. Now, now it's so, you know, what does he mean by his hands were tied? It, does that mean Ashton was in? No. in you know, uh, no, I can't believe that. that. He said nineteen new signings. It's everything he's ever wished for. Like I, I think yeah. you have to take Norwood's words for Norwood's words, and and whatever that will be, that will be. What we do know is what we do know, and it's mm. kind of speaking on that, and that's. Poor form, 19 new signings and being 11th in League One. I think that's the things to focus on. And, and I'm interested because obviously pr- prior to today, no one's mentioned. And prior to that, that, that one that one tweet, which we know, we, which, which we know nothing about. Um, mm. We don't know anything about uh, behind the scenes stuff. No one was talking about Mark Ashton. For me, Mark Ashton's got up in my estimation, if anything. He really has because... It means he's, he's he's putting a culture in place. It means he's putting accountability in place. As a standard, when you play for this football club, you wear a shirt that is means something. It means something to wear this football shirt. I know Colin will come on and say something probably very similar. And he's showing that. And you've got a code of ethics or a code of conduct or a code of whatever you want to call it to live by. And, and I like that. And I, I was saying... Code of ethics. Sorry? You know, it's lying a part of that code of ethics. To say three weeks ago that we're going to give him the season and then three weeks later to sack him. Well, did he say we're going that, to give him the season? Me. I don't remember him saying oh. we're going to give him the season. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Before uh, the season, for sure. Brett Johnson, Brett Johnson himself as well, also said, and I love Brett Johnson, I'm not going up Brett Johnson, but it was said that we're going to give Paul Cook the full season no matter what. That was explicitly said. That's, 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 in, the, that's in the records. And so... I, I, okay, I, I, mean, I didn't know that. I wrong. don't remember that. Don't, 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 don't get me wrong. I mean, I agree with you. It's been... Dyer. Like I, I get so excited to watch it. I'm Ooh. usually excited. and the last few weeks have been really difficult to watch and I fully agree with that. The system has been rigid and there's definitely been like you know managerial problems with, with, with Cook. For me it's just is this the is this is this the sort of um the first sign that it's not you know, we've been being made all these promises. One of those promises was that Cook is gonna have the season. That's the first promise that hasn't been kept, you know, what is what is next. And like I say, I really want to be positive, but it's just, yeah. 
it's difficult because Bristol, Bristol, and I know some people are saying it, and it is true. Bristol City fans have been warning us of this facade, this sort of like mm-hmm. David Bren, Eddie Hearn style facade where <laughs> we promise everything. And then, I mean, that's the thing. Do you remember when Mark Ashton was, was after the game when he was celebrating? I loved it. But where's he been for the last five weeks? I haven't seen his face. I haven't seen an interview. As soon as we start losing, where is he? And that's what we were warned about. And, you know, he, he's, 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 uh, you know, he's not fully protected either. In the same way that a manager can be sacked. I'm not saying he should, but I'm saying that, you know, he's not an owner. He's not an owner. So if these things continue to happen, then I think if a manager can be sacked for bad performance, then at some stage a CEO has to be as well. Because, you know, well, we'll, we'll see. But, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but, but it's, it's important to say, to also, I, 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 don't, I don't remember the cook to be given the season line, but we'll definitely be looking that up this evening. Give me something to do. Um, but what I would say is, in football, what is often said is never is often never also done. You know, how many times have we, have we heard chairman say, this manager has my full confidence, he is the man for the job, and then two days, two weeks, a month, three minutes later, you read he's being relieved of his duties. Um, that's football. But Matty, really good opinion. Love it. I'd love to see what the chat think of it as well. Uh, adios. We'll speak soon, hopefully. That's a really good opinion there. Um Personally, I, I, I've got, I've got so much time for Mark Ashton myself. Um, you know, I was sat next to the director's box today, and you know, you can see it really means something to him, and and and, and, that, and that's good. That is really good, and it's it's a, it's what we wanted. As for, it's, it's the, you know, what we wanted as town fans a year ago was somebody in charge of the football side of the club that got football, knew football, understood football. I'm not going to say anybody's name, but previous people in those types of positions have not been good enough. Um, Mark Ashton's a football man. We've got fantastic marketing coming out. The stadium's looking so much better. The only thing, and me and Colin were talking on the way out, you can have all this wonderful marketing, glitz and glamour, pack out PR rubbish. If the product on the field is dog shit, it ain't going to matter what you're doing off the field with the Bobby Robson stand, et cetera, et cetera. Because as Colin said, when I walk down this street home tonight, I don't feel good. I look at it and I feel bad. I feel sad. I feel like that's what it used to be. And that's not what we're trying to do at the football club now, I don't think. And I think that's what Mark Ashton brings or is trying to bring to the party. Irvin says, anyone thinks 19 new signs were signed to the cook? Think again. We offered best bucks. That's why they're here. No other reason. Emma dropping these signs would have, would have them. Mm. Craig from Portsmouth, what he could to do well, but we struggled to beat some ordinary teams. Went today expecting a win. But yet again, uh, it just doesn't happen. Uh, Facebook user, I think Carl Robinson could be a sound investment. We'll get on to who you, you, you fancy yeah. in a second. That's a good shout. Good evening, Rabbit Man. He, let's hope Mark Ashton gets a new man to plan A to B. Chris Boyd. Um, the incoming or interim coach need to get an entire squad together and tell them every shirt is up for grabs. Well, except Halaki. Uh, bring players like Piggott and Nord in from the cold. Uh, Adam Way, classic vote of confidence. It's like chiseling your own headstone when you get that. Absolutely. It is in football, yes. And Adam, I can confirm you were the 4,212th person to ask if I was going live tonight, as you said, and you messaged me. Lee Anderson. <laughs> uh, wow, can't believe the negativity towards Ashton. Trust the process. I remember what we had previously. Uh, no, I, Daniel, go on. I, 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 don't think, I don't think there's negativity towards Ashton. I, I, think, I think it's... I think it, it, what it is is it's Norwood's comment, which just send, it just it just turns a few cogs out. That's all it does. It's not, it's not negativity towards him, because, I mean... I mean, I, I, I met Ashton at Accrington away. He, he, he came and stood, stood in the away stand before the game started. And he's, in, he's a nice, nice as pie bloke. Yeah? And from like, like what you say there, Martin, he, he is. He's a football man. He, he, re- he really is a football man. And I, and I truly believe he is aiming to get the best out of what, what, whatever squad we have. I, I, I know he wants what's best for the world. I think, I, think, I think the whole Ashton thing now should just be put to one side. I think, I think like, like you Absolutely. said, like, like you say, Norwood's comments are Norwood's comments. I, I think as as much as I personally would have him in the squad, it, it doesn't matter. He's not going to he's not going to get back in the squad under whatever new manager that comes in. It doesn't matter. He's a, he's, a, he's his ITFC career has gone gone now, in my opinion. But I think what what some people need to realise is because we keep saying these 19, 19 players, we are right. We did bring in nineteen new players. But it's like it's like I told someone on Twitter earlier. Cause someone said like, oh well, like yeah, I can't believe he's he's become a bad manager overnight. No, I'm not saying he's a bad manager, no. But it's certainly not overnight. It was nine months with two different squads, mm. and and it was with. And bearing in mind, his all of his successes came without his assistant. As far as I'm aware, 
he hasn't actually got an assistant at town. Or he didn't. No, know. he hasn't. He's just he got didn't. Roberts and Jeffers with with obviously Peter Reed consultancy firm, which probably is not no longer part of the football club. Yeah. Um, upstairs. Um, what I would say, uh, you know, is he's going to be a he is a fine manager and he will be a fine manager mm. again, Kurt. It just yeah. doesn't work here. And I think the prime example of, of, of how crazy football can be for a manager is David Moyes. David Moyes did not work at West Ham the first time around for whatever reason. I bet when, when he was re-employed, the West Ham fans on their, their equivalent of talking town probably blew their f***ing cogs. Mm. But now look at them. You know, beating Chelsea inside the top four, Champions League. Ugh. Sounds a real possibility for a team that was le- level with us only 10, 15, 20 years ago. Yeah. That's management to a T. That's what happens. It doesn't work sometimes. And we said earlier, I think last week, the next manager will be the one that gets the fruits of this, this rebuild. You know? it's, it's, that's not what you said as well. It's, it's not what many people are saying. Paul Cook as a man, I, I, I love the guy. To be, to be honest, I, 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 earlier on in his tenure, I could listen to his post-match, post-match interviews. I could, I could hear him analysing the games. It, even in even in those Q and A's that he's that he's done, I can hear him talk about the club because I know that he is a footballing man through and through. But I just think I, I do I do think I do think that managing Ipswich, it just it hasn't worked out for me. And as you, and as you say, as you say, it, he will no doubt go on to another club, and it'll sort out it, 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 it'll sort out another club, and he'll it, no doubt turn him into pro, promotion contenders. But for us. It's just not happened, and, and I think for us, it is, it's a bit of an Eddie Howe situation at Newcastle. I think quite he, he could, it, in the same way Eddie Howe's been there now to lay the foundations. Mm. After a horrible time for him. I, I do think Cook could be the man. He's brought in a much higher quality, a higher standard of quality squad compared to what we had in the previous season. But I think that was his job. He, he's brought in some good players who haven't been playing that well. But I do believe. They are a lot better than what they are, and maybe it's now someone else's job to actually take us forward. I think that's. I think that's the. This yeah. could. Be, this could be. I mean, Paul Cook was a crucial appointment at the time, anyway. But I think this now is the most important. Would you back Burley? Would you back Burley? Asked. Uh, oh, sorry, no. Uh, John John Ipswich, Would you back Burley? It's long, too long out of the game for me. Yeah. It's like Alan Kirby style. But bring Amy on the Prosecco. So she might not be long for this show. We'll see. Um, I have been slowing it down since you said you were going live. I was like, I want to chat. I want to chat. Let's not go on drunk for once. Let's chat. Let's chat. Paul Cook's that <laughs> gone, sad, whatever you may feel about it. What, what are you thinking? Couldn't believe it. I was just about to put my phone away because I really couldn't deal with another night of everybody moaning about losing to a League Two team. I was just, and I was like, Luke, bless him, did the bedtime for the boys. I thought, oh, I'll just see what's going on on Twitter. Oh my God, <laughs> where has tonight gone? Absolutely. For me, the first thing, the most important thing is what a decisive move from the owners at what and how nice to see that with how many managers in the past where we've just been waiting and trudging along um I do I do think this has been in the offing for a long time I think that most of us gave him a second chance in this technically second season that he's been in charge with us you know I'd I have my issues with what he did with last year, but like you I think the clear out was needed um and this was his chance look at that flipping squad and he can't we can't even beat Barrow you and I Mm. talked this week about these cup games and how this should be building up our confidence for the league games and it just isn't happening because we can't beat Barrow Colchester Oldham do you know what I mean I just think what's going well yeah Cook himself highlighted he wanted three wins from this week for confidence and then he got one win to two draws which obviously one of the draws was a defeat in the end that just kind of summed up Paul Cook's reign, didn't it, Amy? Three games, and that's that's the that's what you get served up. One of the games you collapse at two nil. I think when you look back at our whole season so far, the the good results have been sporadic. They've been random. They, like Donny maybe was expected with the season they're having, uh, but the the great performance at Portsmouth, they've just been so iffy do you know like where have they come from and as soon as we're up against a team that actually start playing football like gritty football we league one football do you know what I mean we we just haven't been able to perform and how you can't be 
winning this league by a mile with this squad it it just mm. I don't get it and you know me I'd, I normally give the manager quite a long time but I'd given up on Cook uh, Tuesday night was the I'm done I'm absolutely like to the point where I'm done with football I may not even I'm going to Wigan next weekend but I may not bother with the game I like I was at that point I was just like I'll go for the weekend away but I'm not going to bother with the football but and now I will. It's going to be well excited next weekend. My God, going to Wigan on Saturday after what's just happened. Um, and when you and I talked, we said about, you know, how, how meaningful it's going to be with Richardson being there and what they've done this year and where maybe he could now. have been. I do fancy <laughs> this now. No, I do. I, just think, I, think, I think Richardson had, would have had Cook's number just because I think Cook is very paint by numbers. And that's not new. That's something I've said for the last three months. Um, this is a really good job, though, isn't it, Amy? This is a this is a job that should have fat head coaches, coaches, managers in and out of the game. Really excited. You're not that many miles away from the playoffs, and you've got the resources. You've got the back in. It's a big football club with a fantastic squad, is it not? Is it not? I think you hit the nail on the head earlier. We've got pack up PR coming. Look at look at mm-hmm. the games over Christmas. What manager wouldn't want to be announced as the next stage in Ipswich's success, the next chapter in our story in front of a packed out Portman Road that has not had that kind of audience for what are we talking, 10, 15 years, maybe longer? Mm-hmm. It, it, of course it's attractive of course it is I'm kind of being drawn into the interest of the fact that McGreal's around and wondering whether that might have been I good timing take, but I think he'll take over uh, caretaker. that doesn't excite Definitely me definitely caretaker yeah I think yeah because be right. I think he's the one well you can imagine if Franny, if Franny Jeffers or Gabriel was oh, don't, 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 don't even joke about it sorry sorry <laughs> But, but um, that's, I mean, that sums it up, doesn't it? The people that Cook brought with him. Franny Jeffers, I had my issue with from the start, uh, yeah, which was off field stuff a, rather than What do you make a Georgie stuff. boys comment here, Amy? Sorry, you have to say it's refreshing no to have owners who are willing to take action rather than allow it to go down let the season die out. Yeah, absolutely. I've seen so many people say, oh, I'd give him a couple of years. Why? <laughs> Yeah, like, really? No, Do I have point. to put up with League One for that long? No, there's absolutely no need. The owners have given him hit the wallet. They've given him whatever he needed. They've given him this squad that is, without a doubt, good enough. We know it is because as much as those great results were random, they happened. So we know what they're capable of doing. They just mm. needed someone who wasn't going to take... Before, I'm still sulking about it, but they weren't going to take their Accrington away performances that wouldn't put up with that and that would make us bounce back from it. And we just didn't. You know, I went from Accrington away to Cambridge away. It was mm. one disappointing performance after another. It was just, come on, surely. This Adam, is Ipswich uh, Town in League One, for Christ's sake. Oh, absolutely. Adam Way. But, but part of the decision was driven bad by Pack Out PR. They saw the atmosphere today and yeah. it was bad. And, if, and we've progressed in, around in the cup, Coxie, and there was less fans there today than there was at bloody Albany. There Alderman. was. I, I um, think that's, yeah, that's, that's one of the, like, not the big factor, but I think that's, hmm. that is a factor in why they let Cook go today. We've got this pack out PR coming. And there was 6,000 uh, 6, yeah. peed off town fans, which is you and I today, Martin, amongst them. But and there was word. 28,000 28, peed off fans. Yeah. Oh, not good. Well, no, this is it. And there was words between... I say words, there was shouting from the Britannia upper down to the director's box aimed at Ashton. And at half time, there was not a back and forth, but Ashton definitely heard him, looked up at him. Uh, And then at full time, he was joined by a couple of people uh, that, you know, that me, Matt and Rich witnessed. That was just with 6,000. Imagine that with 28, if you've gotten beaten by Charlton. And the the owners there as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, Sit next to him. Yeah. Yeah. Ten pounds, David. Thank you much for David. We love that. All super chats read out. Great shake about the good work. Happy days, cook out. He's a nice man. Wish him good luck in the future. Um, yeah. yeah. I wish him luck in the future, but it just wasn't to be like. And I knew that from from Bolton. Well, Brett, the worst uh, thing Cook's done in his management of Ipswich is he's now making me have no excuse not to visit family in Barrow when I when I go there. I've managed to avoid. I've managed to avoid Barrow for so long, and now my sister pops up and went. Oh well, you'll have to oh, visit. You you <laughs> oh yeah, cheers! Oh, the, the one the one time you see the scores and you've and you've somehow you just realised that we've now got a replay in Barrow. Yeah, the, 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 only, the only tourist attractions being VAE systems and an Asda off a roundabout. Um, <laughs> mm, yeah, Robin Collins. Now, if just trying to sack two managers in a row in a short reign, what do you now 
says the target for the new manager in realistic time frame, the patron saint of tickets. Oh, the, how are we doing, people? With the Hang on, Yatesy, Yatesy. This is the first time for a long time I've seen you actually smile. <laughs> I, think, I think it's my life. It's my honest game. <laughs> He's Crunch. looking forward to going to Barrow Crunch. Yeah. Crunch, oh, talk to me. Was... Now, what do you make of it? I went on 606, Martin, tonight. Oh, oh this is hang before. On. No, 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 listen. You. Listen, no, no, this no, no, is no, before. Me. This is. You were second choice, Martin. No, 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 I, was listening, I was thinking of Cruncher driving home to get my fish and chips because I was listening to Steady. 606 and I thought he went on 606 only a couple of weeks ago and was singing Paul Cook's praises. Exactly. Um... No, I was singing to Chris Sutton and that's why I said I got a little bit of humble yeah. pie. My finishing line was, I'm not sure if Paul Cook's the right man for the job. I've come off the phone and he's been sacked. <laughs> Literally like, like that. Now, I just want to go into a little bit of Paul Cook, the human being, Martin. So you know what Martin's going through at the minute, right? My friend, and you know him. Yeah. yeah. Paul Cook's been real good to him. Yeah. yeah. On the human side, he's been a real friend. So before, and I know he's judged on what he does on the football pitch. I, I get that. We all get that on here. But yeah, as a human being, he is a real nice guy. Yeah, and, and I've said that. I've said that. I started the show with that. I've tweeted that. Yeah, he's a fine, fine man. A really good guy. But wasn't but... the right, right man for our football club. And no more Pauls. No, I would have Paul Warren. Yatesy, I'd have Paul, I'd have Paul Warren from Rotherham. But he's a Paul, so he's... Yeah, he's... You're a walking contradiction, you are, aren't you? Yeah. No more pools, so no. but I would have Paul Warren. Like, hang on, that don't work right away, does it? Look that at him down fan. in the milk, trying to coat his uh, <laughs> coat his throat. Um, My throat is absolutely of... on fire. I'm you loving heard... the blue and white tree. I've got yeah. mine just over there as well. <laughs> Where's your tree, mine? Is your tree up? Is it fuck? Um, <laughs> it's December the fourth. It's December the fourth. When does yours go up? <laughs> In about 20 days' time and two hours. No, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. When does the wife say it can go up? Really? Um, she has said about next weekend. Oh, there you go. So it'll probably be next Saturday while we're playing You won't be Wigan. able to do that. You're coming to Wigan. I'm not, I'm afraid. I've got a babysitter. Oh, no. I say babysit. It's my own son. Um, <laughs> so it's not really babysit. It's just being a dad. Um, uh, Crunch, we've heard from Matty tonight, earlier on the show, um, disappointed with, with Ashton. Uh, and the way that, 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 that the hierarchy have handled things, they said that they could give Paul Cook time, maybe a season, um, and, and that hasn't happened. How, 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 what's your no, thoughts on well, that? Look, you, you know my thoughts. You, we, me and Bat, Matt were big Cook fans, but you, you've been watching. We all watch with our eyes. Now, we sat there today, Martin. Even Colin said he was bored. Yeah. That, was, that team has been... Look, there's been flashes, but when you look at the games... This is just at home. Yeah. West Ham under 21's lost. Arsenal under yeah. 21's lost. Newport lost. Oldham drew. Colchester drew. Barrow drew. Morecambe drew. AFC Wimbledon. That just, that just, it's results on the pitch and it's not mm. been good enough, has it? There has been flashes. We get that. Did he go too hard? You know, the demolition man. I'm getting rid of everybody. That. We'll never know that. We'll never know that. Mm. But how long do you leave it? Has Ashton been harsh? I, I don't think he's been harsh. Look, this is football in 2021, Martin. It's a, it's a, as soon as the manager's appointed, he's probably looking at his watch thinking, how long have I got? Because there is no time nowadays. You know, football moves so quickly. You have two or three wins, everyone's on a high, two or three defeats, and everyone probably wants you out. So yeah. and he, and he was a, alluding just, to that. It's just reality. And he was but alluding then when to he that in his post-game. When he started sniping yesterday at the fans, you know, mm. social media, media drama queens. Yeah, I saw that. Then we all go back to when Mick was here, Amy, and you know how it got then. Exactly. And we don't yeah. want it to go no, down no. there again. We don't yeah. want it to go down there again. We've got a lot going for the club at the minute. We're sitting in 11th. We're not in... The position we want to be in, but for a new manager coming in, he's still going to have the time to make a few changes. Martin, I, I think I said this a few weeks ago. My boss said this to me: Paul Cook might not benefit. The next manager probably will benefit more. Than and Paul I said Cook. that two and weeks at the end of the, I, yeah. yeah. And at the end of the day, we sat there today. It's his last game, and he puts on Joe Pig at half time and plays two up front. Why? Why is he not doing this yeah. two months yeah. ago? You know. 
It's his oh, own. It is his own fault. In it is his own fault. At the end of the day, I get that he's got a philosophy. He's got a way of playing. We all accept yeah. that. It's what you do in the game, isn't it? Yeah, no, I think it it's sad. I think it's sad. I think it's sad that he's gone. Do I think it's the it wrong? De- do I think it's the wrong decision? No, I don't. He'll no. probably go to another football club and he'll do a really good job. But this is so not like Ipswich Town. But in a way, this is probably what we have to be. And I know you said you'd be like Watford. You'd be sacking your managers. Hundred percent, I would be. Yeah. We we all know that the Americans, you know, the pension fund, they're there to make money, Martin. They don't always sit in 11th in, in the third tier, drawing it home to no, Barrow. Nobody no, wants no, that. No. <laughs> Fuck no. I, I didn't want that. I didn't want to go. Um, I, I just feel, you know, as you say, this is this is what probably needed to happen with the football club, the move towards the 21st century. But as I was saying to the one that must be obeyed, you can be divisive with a fan base if you've got the results to back it up. So yeah. calling people drama queens on a Friday is yeah. one thing. Laying a you know turd on a Saturday, nil nil on a barrow. That really shows you you can't be doing that. You've got to be getting the results to back up the, the that type of language. Don't, don't don't you agree, Amy? Oh, Mick got away with it for ages, didn't he? Because he was keeping us in mid-table mediocrity in championship, but he was keeping us where we did. And it, but Rich is at. Uh, <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Rich. Can I can I can I just have a word with Doctor Earman? Mm-hmm. Cruncher is a plonker, did he say? He did. <laughs> and he wears a plonker, is that? But yeah. why am I a plonker? Because I've yeah. always backed Cook. Why have I always... I've, 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 me and, probably me and Colin and the two people on here who've actually stuck with him for 95% of the ride. Great. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. I haven't been yeah. cooking, cook out, cooking, cook out. You know? It's just how yeah, it is. Have you given me and Martin a bit of like banter for saying we were done like <laughs> me and Martin have reached well, a point ben, where like ben, no, ben I Adams, bad ben Adams sees him. Where, where's Ben because Ben's season was over after was it six games when, yeah. I spoke to ben, when I spoke to Ben earlier he was in the middle of um, what's that place near West Ham's ground shopping centre what's it called Stratford Stratford yeah the, yeah, the shopping centre there um, bless him um, still better than going to Barrow at home nil nil yeah. Um, look, yeah. it's the right thing to, to, to do. It, it is. is, yeah, absolutely. Maybe I was a bit too quick to sour on him. I don't know, but but when at home was my turning point. I mean, we've no, all but got I think one. To be fair, we gave him time. We just, it just there was something in my head that clicked on Tuesday night, which I think had been brewing for a long time. But I was just like, I'm I'm done with this. Do you know, yeah. I don't even want to be playing in cup games. Like, if you're not bothered about cup games, just play the kids and get knocked out. But he didn't. Lakeside. <coughs> oh yeah. Ah uh, yeah, of course Lakeside, great place to go shopping. But I just think it... I sent him a voice memo full of profanities and he said I played it in the middle of Primark. I was like, oh dear. No. <laughs> it was he said, How did it go today? He oh, doesn't I... strike me as a Primark man. He does what no, he's not. No. Uh, Primarche. And he was just I, I just Primarni. laced, it. Primarni, I, laced yeah. it. I laced it with profanity because I was so pissed off. Um yeah. And he says, sorry, I've just played that in Primark. But did loud. you expect anything else today? And I think that for me is the question. Yes! Like, really? Barrow! And it's a cup game and we know Barrow. what he's like. We know I he's going to play one up front. We know he's not really got a plan. We know he's not going to have a plan B. I just, I, I, you know, I haven't, I just didn't bother I, even I attempting watching the game today because A, it's a cup and I can't be bothered with it. And B, I had family stuff going on. And this is where it goes back to what you guys were talking about, like the crowd. There's other things going on in life at the moment, and an Ipswich were peeing me off to the point where I just, I, I just don't want to drag my Saturday down watching it. Now I'm like, sod it, let's bring it on next that well next Saturday I'm at the game, but the one after, I'm, I'm in there, I'm watching because mm. I want to see where we go now. I'm excited again, yeah, just to see what the what the next turn is, and this this is amazing. You know, under Mick McCarthy, we let it sour, but. Um, Lambert probably went on a little bit longer than it should have done, but maybe we were. I'm still not convinced Cook was the right person to take over from him. But anyway, Lambert, that's I mean. another. Don't. Uh, sorry, I won't dig on Lambert when you're here. Leave the patron <laughs> saint of managers out of this, please. There's no need to be bringing Mr. Lambert into the situation. <laughs> oh God, he's always got that on reserve. <laughs> Absolutely, my finest, finest hour. Um, but you know, it's. I'm, I'm now getting criticised in the chat because I've got the shopping centres mixed up. Me shopping, never in a million years. What I want to know, what I want to know is where is Callie tonight? Because Callie put in the group chat, 
Cook's staying. He's not going anywhere. Two hours later, he's out the door. <laughs> oh, no, that's that was so Where is he? It's oh, in the comments. He's definitely here somewhere. Come on, Kelly. Come on. You said you said it earlier when I was watching before I came on. Football is just it's it's unpredictable. It, it is. This is Look the way David it Moyes. goes. Look at David Moyes. You know, riding that 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 wave. If if I had said this to you when he was appointed the second time, you'd have said I was absolutely mad. And I West still Ham do think tell. mine. I still do think we're look. We're on here. We've been in Cook. The players do need to take responsibility. Well, have you seen Sam Morse's I tweet? I did, show, I did show at the start of the, the show, he, he has said that they did perhaps didn't give enough and they will need to do so moving forward. Yeah. Uh, the, you know, the usual stuff that you get from a, from a, from a captain when the, the manager's been, been relieved of his duties. Amy said something very interesting there, though, about um, she's excited. <laughs> she's invigorated again. And I think that's also a part of the reason what we got here. Pack up PR around the corner. Thanks to the patron saint of tickets, we're going to have a full house. Everyone be blaming him come full time. But now everyone's going to be excited again, invigorated, intrigued. It's new but again. Like I did say, I did say to Colin, I did say to Colin at full time when we were walking out, you know, I said, you've got them three blokes there giving Ashton a load of stick. In a couple of weeks, we're going to have like, there were 6,000 today. We're going to have 26,000 there. So times that by about 20,000 giving him the bird. He thinks three yeah. blokes giving him to stick, and he and he didn't look them in the eye, did he, Martin? He didn't want to no, know was, second half. He didn't, did he? No, I was he, talking he, about he that. Didn't. And also, it was interesting how Cook didn't didn't lead the team out today, wasn't it, Crunch? Oh, mm. didn't yeah, he, he his, didn't know. He didn't come out. out, did out no, no, he didn't, he didn't do his clap thing. Out. No, that's right. No, yeah. he was last out, and I said that's that, that that's that's the song when the club know things have changing, like when they don't send him out for the big rip, 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 Well, I've heard a whisper. I've heard a whisper. I've heard a whisper. Bin your whispers. Bin your whispers. No, I want to have, want to have a, a good night's sleep tonight, please. I'm, I'm already on the anxiety tablets. Don't make it ramp up. Even I've heard a whisper that Michael Appleton has been spoken to last week. I'm oh, sure he's been spoken no. to many times. He's a human being. That's what we do to each other. We talk. <laughs> um, I want to, right, Amy, it's been a real pleasure. I'm going to bring in Colin Thank you for having me on. I'm going to go and enjoy what should have been a nice evening with my other half. Cheers. Bless him. Hello. Cheers, lovely. Speak Cheers. to you all soon. Speak to you soon. And if Mrs. Lambert is watching this, and I want these in the Come fridge, in. please, darling. Um, I'll be down in a second. Um, <laughs> a second? Uh, well, well, I'm about to bring Colin in. I'll be down tomorrow morning. Um, here he is, the <laughs> goat. The goat. Colin, before you speak, I'm going to put you on mute. Before you speak, I want to put a few comments on the screen. James Wood, football's a mad, mad world. But one thing for sure, the fans have been coming back and we're, we're, we're all coming together. Absolutely. Farkoff says Adam uh, Barham. What's McGrill's system? 4-2-3-1, Monty. Uh, Sean, how many marriages are we going to go through before we get just some small success? Playoff finals, here we come. Uh, as, as Andy Tate once said, we're going to do a title charge. Uh, that was my best Andy Tate impression. I do apologise. Uh, Ready, Teddy. Harry K will get your promotion. You can then bring in whoever and build from there. Interesting phone call just now, says Callie. Callie is in the running for the job, maybe. I don't know. Was it Mark Ashton on the blower? Callie, we need you. Sending out the SOS. Colin, what do you make of the situation? Uh, like I said earlier on, I feel, I feel a bit numb, really. If, if, if I'm honest, I, I'm I'm quite I'm quite surprised. Um, well, I'm surprised. A bit of me is surprised, but a bit of me is not surprised. I did say before today's game, <clears throat> uh, sort of that gentleman. I can't remember his name. Um, who I went out a pint with. And I said to him, I said, if we, I didn't know if we drew, I said, if we lost today, I think Cookie, and he, and he picked a decent side, which he did. <laughs> I thought maybe he was sharpening his, sharpening his own knife. Um, if they lost today, which they didn't, and they drew, I come home, Andrew was sitting there watching a bit of Sky Sports. And, um, yeah, and I, and, and I, and I said to him, I said, yeah, oh, no, hang on, no. hang on, Colin. Are Ashton and Co. influencing the team selection, Callie? Can you expand on that? Yeah, you, can, you can't drop that. In the, you can't drop that as a comment and then and then leave it. About you. That's oh, only okay. relating to Norwood. That's only relating to Norwood. That's nobody else. I, I, I didn't even read what he said. I just put it on the screen. To be fair, I was busy writing Callie is in for manager on my bit of paper, <laughs> listening to Colin. Sorry, Colin. Carry on. That's all right. And I, I come out. I said, Randy, you know, not good today, uh, nil nil. But I, I, you know, I, I think it'll all be on the Charlton game, like really. Um, and I really believed that. You know, I believed if he lost today with a decent side out, which they had, but they drew, and I thought maybe I'd save him. Then I thought myself, 
possibly Charlton. You know, if they lose at Charlton, I think they might, might you know, might, might pull the trigger. Uh, when Andy, because Andy was on his phone and, you know, he was on his Twitter and that, and he said that Cookie's gone, I must admit I was really, really surprised. But I've got to, I've got to reiterate what Rich said. Um, I'm not going to mention names because I don't have to, and Rich has been all over that. that. But, they, you know, I've spoke to him a couple of times, and he is a decent man. I put on a chat earlier, and he's a gentleman. He is a gentleman. He's a good lad. He's a football person. He knows the fans. He knows what... Was you know, he good he, enough, he Colin? No, no, no. Absolutely not. I was going to get to that. No, absolutely not, uh, Martin. I've, I've, I've got to admit that, and uh, I've got to agree with you there. But as a person, very nice person, I think he tried his utmost, but it wasn't good enough, like you say, quite rightly say. And um, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed, like we've said a million times before, all of us. I'm disappointed that he's failed because if he fails, well, we haven't failed as such in the season, obviously, because they've pulled the trigger quick enough for a reaction and for a person. Like I said to Rich a little while ago on the phone, I'm just hoping upon hope because I've got to say this, Martin, our, our um, choice of managers over the last, however long, last, let's just say the last four or five managers, it's been nothing short of absolutely shocking. And, you know, McCarthy was all right for a while. We all know that. And then that went, we all know where that went. And it went the same with um, Cookie, but unfortunately. But the recruitment of this next manager is absolutely key. I mean, we've got to get this right. Me and Richard talked about it a little while ago. And it's got to be right this time. It's got to be right. Because whoever comes in, whether it be Frank Lampard, whether it be whoever. You're not right? going to be Lampard. It's not gonna... If it's Lampard, I'll... Martin, I'll, Martin I'll, I'll I did say, I said whoever. It's not going to Whoever. Be right. I will right. just say, Colin, very quickly, we, we, Chainbo has posted on Instagram. Um, if you want to see it, I, I, it's yes. here. We've got uh, Demolition Man indeed with, <laughs> with a sad face. Um, you know, obviously an ex-player. Uh, Mark Dowling, hi, lads. Not surprised he's gone today. Great lad. But if you can't beat Barrow and think Jackson deserves to play the team, will you leave my Kane Jackson alone? I gave him a standing ovation when he left that field. Did I, did I, did I not, Rich? So, so did I. Then I was told... Archie told me to sit down. <laughs> he did. He did. I was only doing it because you were standing up, and I didn't want you being on your own. <laughs> oh, you're sweet. Uh, fantastic rectangles. Worrying that our most successful manager since Premier League 2000 has been Joe Rule. The very next one after the Burley. lad. The lad right, from Plymouth. From... A bit. Yeah, well, we'll get into that. But Simon B sacked four months into a long-term project. Good job, your employers don't behave like this. Idiocy. What do you say about that, Coxie? What do you think about that comment from Simon? Sacked four months into a long-term project. Idiocy, he calls it. Well, it sort of begs the question, was Cook actually the choice for the new manager, yet? Or was it a Marcus Evans appointment? That's, yeah. Was this They've always the guy... had that option to as a get-out, haven't they, though? Yeah. Where they can, you, know, you can kind of, at any point, say, well, we gave him enough time, but he wasn't really our appointment. You know, there's always been every takeover you have that, don't you, Rich, where you can have that sort of, it's that get-out clause, if you like. Yeah, yeah, we we don't know if he was their pick or not, but you'll never know. You'll never know. No, of course you'll we won't. You're you not know. in that um, position. We're not in their position to find that, out, are we? Yeah, absolutely. Steph, howdy, boys. Nice to stop and chat with you all today at the game. Bit of a shock. Cookie going so soon. So who do we want then? Um, also, David Darnell. Thoughts on Chambers' post there, Kurt? What do you think? Nuff. You, you got you got you got, you got, you got rigged because you were shit. Move on. <laughs> Sorry, that's that, that is some northern bruntness for you. That is, <laughs> you, um, you, you got you got you got shifted on because you were outpaced by every every opposition player that you faced in League One. Move on, yeah. Uh, Lee Anderson, <laughs> Simon does have a point, but Cook said things that he never backed up. This is football, results in football is what is the most important thing. Results have been dire, performances haven't been great. Um, and, and and there we go. So who do we fancy then? Who do we think? Because obviously I've been saying for a long time the head coach uh, way I think is, the, is is how the club is heading. I think with the recruitment, like Tessie Yenge came in from Australia and Paul himself openly said 
you hadn't even seen a video, if I remember the press conference right, of him. It shows to me they're going by stats, they're going by dashboards, they're going by all the modern trends. So for me, that's a head coach. I'm going to throw one out there. Rob Edwards at Forest Green. Previous Wolverhampton Wanderers under-23s manager. <coughs> I would not be upset if he was the next town manager. Good good development of players and the way the football's going. Who do we who do we fancy? Crunch, what's on your what's on your list? Uh Ryan Lowe would be top number one. And I think look, I've heard a whisper Apple, and I did say Apple a few weeks ago in the pod. He's obviously got links to Mark Ashton. That wouldn't surprise me at all. Would it get me excited, Michael Appleton? Maybe not, but listen, I'm open to whoever comes in because we've all got to get whoever we want. It's not gonna, not everyone's gonna be happy, Martin. Whoever's appointed, we we know that that's football. But what we do all need to go is to give him a fair crack of the whip when he does come in, whoever it is. Oh, he'll you know, get it because we, we all want we he'll all want the football club to do well. You know, we all have our opinions, but we all want them not to be sitting eleventh in the third tier and not being able to beat superpowers like Barrow at home. Absolutely. Um, I was looking for this earlier, so thank you, Chris Boyd, but Beck Victor, I didn't look there. I should have done Naughty Martin. Uh, McGrill's 5-1, to one, Alex Newell and Lampard 6-1, to one, Shooton, Bruce, Lennon, Carrick, Warnock and Michael Finn all 8-1, to one, Neil Harris, Derek McInnes 10-1. to one. Not a single name there that gets me excited, Colin. No, Is there you? 100%. Colin? Uh, I must admit, I've got to agree with Crunch. Um, I've kind of saw him down Plymouth Ryan Lowe comes across as a really really nice guy um, great coach I've said I've been speaking about him on the show for a long long while he's a very 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 good young coach um, and he seems a, like I say a really nice bloke and all this that and the other so he'd be the one only trouble, I, I, I must, the only I trouble admit, Colin the only trouble Colin is admit, there, there was one on that list that I would like to give have a go I like I like the sound of Neil Harris. Personally. Oh, no chance. That would bore you to tears. I've got a mate who's a Millwall fan. You would not really? enjoy his football, Colin. No. Would he bring Bart back with him? Hey? Would he bring Bart with him? <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, though, the thing is, like, with Appleton or um, Ryan Lake Plymouth, they're in, they're in jobs now, so... I know Martin's a big fan of Warnock. I wouldn't be against Warnock till the end of the season. Someone like him, and then go in the summer. That that wouldn't. I wouldn't be worried about that. You. I don't know what you think about that, Martin. I, well, look, if Neil Warnock was the rugby manager of Town Football Club tomorrow. I'd absolutely, I'd be in seventh heaven. I think he's the. I think he's one of the greatest managers that that, that has been in the champ and in the second tier, third tier of English football. You know, he's not quite a Premier League manager by any stretches, but you know, he's, he is. Um, I keep reading on social media that he said once, I don't know if this is true or not, but when he, when he dies, he doesn't want a minute's applause. He wants people to chant, Warnock's a wanker. Yeah. I just think that's fucking brilliant. I just think that's brilliant. <laughs> that's fucking brilliant. That's my son. You know what I mean? Win at all costs. Cut your arm off. Cut your legs off. Get out there and win a game of football. That's Man. what I want. Can I, can I just say, that suits me fine because whoever he manages, so he's got a house in Cornwall, he always, it doesn't matter whether it's Leeds or whoever he's managed, Cardiff, he always does pre-season friendlies in the South West, down in Cornwall. Yeah, always, every year, every season. Brilliant. I watch pre-season friendlies while I'm on holiday. Fantastic. I'll have some of that. <laughs> Apparently he was on. He was he was going to Italy. He was on Talk Sport. Well, we got on that blower quick. Um, Warnock's good man manager. Gareth Ainsworth says Terry Noonan. Curtis, what do you think of that? Gareth Ainsworth. I'm all right. I'm, I'm, I'm all right. He's he, he's overperformed with a uh, Wickham side, but I, I just for some reason I, I feel like he's one of them. For me, I just don't, I, 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 for me I want someone that's gonna excite me, and I, and I think Warnock short term would excite me. But I think then you do need to be lining up someone to again take you on that long term. But I, again, that is another reason why I probably wouldn't go for Warnock because I think especially, especially now I think you do need to have that long term manager in and. You need you need to get the results, and I think if we just chop and change now and have one until the end of the season, you may as well just you may as well just have a caretaker because that's what you're going to do. But um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I mean, for, for me, for, for me, I, I'm, I'm more thinking of the head head coach role. I don't really want a manager. Um, I, I think I think I think head coach would be perfect because um, as you as you mentioned there, Martin. I think 
it was you say the Wolves Wolves under under twenty threes. He's now Forest Green, yeah, Rob Edwards. You see, and I, I've, I've got I've got many many Top mates. Top of the who, table of League Two currently. I've got I've got many mates who are Blackpool fans, and they and they recruited from Liverpool's under twenty threes. They they got Neil Critchley. Yeah. And, yeah, and he's yeah. not, and, and he's not even utilised his connections with Liverpool. He and and let's face it, a lot of, of the, the people I'm friends with now, they, they wouldn't change him for the world. I mean, I think he's just signed another five year contract or something like that. And he's and he's gotten playing some really, really nice football. The, the other day I, I, I switched us off and watched them. I watched them and they played out a really good nil nil with West Brom for some and, and that was more entertaining than watching us nil nil against Barrow. So I wouldn't be adverse to appointing someone from an under-23 settled because at least then, like you say, you know they're wanting to progress younger talent. They're wanting to build talent. So I, I won't be adverse to anything like that, picking them up from a bigger team. Yeah, yeah. Coxie, any names come into your mind? Um, Jankovic. Oh, I can't even say that, Rob, especially after Jankovic. a couple of beers. Um, Jekanovic. Jekanovic. Thank you. Oh, th- th- it'll be him, Jek- it? Jekanovic. Oh, cool. I think we're Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I struggle with Dazelle. Uh Coxie, what do you think? Uh, yeah, the, 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 if Wardock was to come in, you know, perhaps the end of the season, maybe. I do think John McGrill is going to get the caretaker role, though. I think there's some substance in him coming in. You know, when it was it yesterday or the day before? Um, who does Mike D want? Yeah. Who does Mike D want? Because he says he has higher standards than us, Coxie. I'd like who do you to want know Mike D wants. Who, who do you want then, Mike D? Come on in, put it in the comments. Slab to you, Martin. Oh, okay. Cheers, Rob. Stephen Latmore. Oh, it's going to be a go. bomb. I'll to explode. And we'll go, I'll, I'll, throw, I'll throw one out of there. Martin Royster. Bit of touch. Have some. He's a Martin Royster. Yeah. He's a he's, he's, Martin Royster. He'd come. Yeah. He would come. I think he's part of the And I'll tell you what, this, this, a... this, this club has always been built on Dutch. Beautiful football. I've got a name. Over a lot of years. Colin. Got a name Martin for Royce. you. Is that got a name for you? Link, link with the Americans. Frank Yallop. Uh, no, 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 no. Right, I'm going to bring in. I love Primark. Ben, is your oh, season back on? Where's the tree? <laughs> It's for me. I've got to reiterate um, um, Cruncher's point. You're quite right, Crunch. I'm not a Primark man. Unfortunately, my wife is a Primark person. <laughs> There's fuck all wrong with Primark. I get all said, my club. Say, I, he, he, and he that's Primark. 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 I get all my stuff from Primark. Thank you very much. That and when did you last go shopping? There, on, when did you last go shopping, mine? Um, it's did you get them size fifteen Woolworth. socks that you need? <laughs> when Woolworths get some, in the high street, I'll get you some socks for Christmas. <laughs> oh, thank you, mate. Um, ben, talk to us. He's gone. You said um, early part of the season. Oh, season over for me. He's got to go. You were ridiculed. Now he's gone. Is it season back on? How is Milk Train Man with his sayings? Feeling? Yeah, I, I, I don't think there's much more I can add than I think some really good points tonight. I think, yes, on a human level, I'm sad because a man lost his job and he was a good man. Uh, and, you know, Ipswich, we're not a ruthless, horrible club. We're a family club. And, you know, we like to think we attract good people before anything else. And it, it shows. Hello. And a good man's lost his job. Um, I think that prime Mark webcam, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> we have a chat. We yes. have to, you know, He's obviously got a prime Mark internet connection. Poor <laughs> bloke. Uh, I, I love prime Mark. Not having it. Got a hamster. Um, an you got a hamster Wi Fi down there. He has. Won't be an extra player. Ashton said you want results, not sentiment. Um, it's going to be interesting, though. Obviously, Ashton saying he's going to speak to us again on Monday with more information. Let's see if it's working a second time. Any better? Yeah, sorry. I'm not sure what happened there. The Wi-Fi in my house is shocking. That's all right. Start again. Yeah, I think, yeah, pack-up PR is a big part of it. And I think that the um, upcoming window is a big part of it. Um, I've said before in the season, don't underestimate the ruthlessness of these owners. They've got, a, you know, billion-dollar funds to justify. And, you know, losing... Uh, uh, Oh dear! <laughs> oh, bless him. Not bringing, not bringing it back again. I'm really not. That went wild, crud. It certainly did. Look, it's an interesting <laughs> couple of days. What do you think is going to happen now from here? This point on crunch. You're obviously man with the ear to the ground. What do you think um, is happening? 
Ryan Klug would probably be involved when he Tuesday. Yeah. I would have thought. Well, safe pair, um, safe pair of hands. Any Klug, yeah, I'd think Klug and McGreal. Um, and we, we really do need a performance Tuesday because the players need to give a performance for the fans because they, they were shit today, weren't they, Martin? It was embarrassment. It was an embarrassment. All due respect to Barrow, come on. We've, we've signed these players, Morsi, Chaplin, Macaulay, Bond, all coming from the championship. And it was pitiful, wasn't it? What would you say about Liam Manning? The ironic that the guy I said would be first sacked and probably get MK Don's relegated could be the um, to come in and revive our season. But Liam Manning with David Wright, I've often said David Wright. I'm, I'm like David months. Wright, Chris Hogg, he's done yeah. a really good job. He's done a really good job at MK. Um, is it such a little bit too big for him at the moment? Maybe in the future. That, that'd be an ex- that would be exciting. That'd excite me. Liam Manning, it would. Yeah, I think he's yeah. done a really good job. Perhaps he'll bring Scott Twine with him in January because I did want him in the oh, summer. You did, yes, please. Yes, Chris, please. Chris Boyd, Lee one is horrible. I can't think which continental coach has has success in it. It needs a bullying type of football. Different when we get to the championship, but one battle at a time. Ashley says too soon for them. Only just joined MK. Rob then says Liam Manning doing well at MK, but a big risk for us. Um, didn't build MK, says Stephen. It was built. And Sarah John, new man needs to be in place for pack out Portman Road. Yeah, do you think we have a new guy in charge by Sunderland? I would have thought so. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. yeah? okay. Definitely. That'd be his first game. That'd be his first game, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Mike D says Manning in the bin, but he's never actually said... Who's he want I mean, then? Exactly. He's not, he's... He just said foreign before. Oh, right. Well, fuck. well, fuck me. It's about yeah. how many, how many well, that narrows down the search, doesn't it? You know, you put a filter of just foreign on it. It's going to spam your computer, the amount of people. George Carr, heard a rumor that Mick McCarthy might be returning. Yes, George, and I am Father Christmas. Uh, Simon Ward, I think it's going to be a big name manager. We are an attractive club. Well, John Terry. Gonna... Oh, fuck off. Oh, do, you know what, do you really um, want John Terry going through all the players' wives? Bloody hell. Coxie! Thoughts well, on their own, not of the network. Hang on, it yes, is past the watershed. It is after yeah, yeah. nine o'clock, Coxie. Yeah, Coxie, that's a bit harsh, mate. You know. Cub, um, on the, on that list uh, on that list earlier, there was Alex Neal on there. God almighty, if he was appointed, I do not know what would happen. AD Honestly. Boothroyd? Oh my god, Alex AD, Neal. AD, AD Boothroyd, Hang on. Must be season ticket. <laughs> Even the dogs don't like AD Boothroyd's name being mentioned on the pod. You know, no, fans. obviously no. England under twenty one manager history of developing players. How how did he manage England under twenty ones? I don't know. Cali done, well Colch- done well at Colchester, didn't he? He did. Yes. Hated he did. at Coventry. No. He did. Billich or uh, Jokanovic? Oh, I can't say the word. Billich says it's that's, that's got West Brom ties. That to be fair, mm. but when he dropped down, I mean that would be a, in League One. That'd be a good appointment. Gus Poyet, it's, Tarico, me, me and Maurizio Tarico. I still think though, you know, in, in an ideal world, Warnock is the type of guy who you could get him, you could get you promoted, and then leave you in a better position to go and, and attract maybe a continental manager in the Championship or somebody else. But right now, I just feel we need somebody to take over the foundation that Cook has laid, and he has laid one, um, and just put us back in the championship because that's 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 the attractiveness of the club and the job in the championship. Is such you can't underestimate what that would do to the team. Is that is what I feel. I don't know how anyone else feels about that, but you know, I, f- I just feel League One. We need to get out of it. Why Hook? We're ready. For, we're ready for liftoff, Martin. Everything is here ready to go. We just need that manager to, to... He's got some good players, you know. He might need to add a few in January, but he's got the t- tools for the job, you know. Let's hope that whoever comes in, you know, it's a su- it's success because we're crying out for it. You don't want to do pods like this. I know there's probably no. loads of people watching tonight, but we want to do pods when we're winning. You're winning at Wickham, you're winning at Portsmouth, you know. We're well, climbing this is the, the conversation. table, we're getting excited, yeah. you know. This is the conversation. The thing is, what the, we want to do. The, the thing have. is, though, Gov, what you were saying a little while ago about getting Warnock in, I'm not really anti that, but do we want to keep chopping? And I, I know what you're saying about getting somebody in experienced and seeing us like till the summer, 
then we change again. But do we want to keep ch chopping and changing, Gov? I, you know, I, I, I don't. I'd rather get somebody. I'd rather get somebody in now. For, you know, for this thing and for next, you know, and 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 you know, get, start to get a little bit stable, like you know, rather than keep all this mm. bloody chopping and changing. We've done too well, that's much. Football that over the last that's football years. management now. Colin, that's football management. You ain't going to get a Benga, yeah. a Ferguson. I think 11 months. Yeah. I think about 11 months is the shelf life yeah. of a manager. Yeah. As soon as that manager comes in, he's looking at his watch. Because he's going to get sacked that? in the end. And this is, this is sort of a left field <laughs> suggestion. I've not seen it mentioned yet. Um, and it might be disrespectful to even put the name with the job because she's doing a fantastic job with Chelsea. But Emma Hayes? I've just seen that comment. What, what do you think about that one? I would be all in favour of that. I think she's she's a fantastic coach and a fantastic manager. Um, it would be progressive, wouldn't it? It would certainly it would. be progressive. It would. What do you think of that crunch? You're looking what about at Joe Sheehan? What about Joe Sheehan? What about Joe Sheehan? Joe Sheehan. Yeah, yeah, Joe Sheehan. Uh, uh, there will Rob Smith, be. Does my wife like football. No, she hates it. She absolutely there will, hates There will be a time it comes when there'll be a woman in charge in the Football League. I don't know when it'll be. I don't think it'll be with town. Um, Why not? Well, I just don't think it will be. I don't think Mark Ashton will go down that road. Look, if it was, how exciting would that be? Mm. But whenever I hear her speak... Oh, I love it. She speaks a lot of sense and puts yeah. loads of pundits to shame. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Can we get her in the Coisters, one of the two? That'd be a great little combination. I'd love that. Super Alley. Yeah. Super Alley. Get him on every game. Cocoms yeah. is great. Uh, em Humes, Emma Hayes will be 100 Will 100 be the first? She's a genius. Lucky to listen, enough to listen to her at, at SI, which is his job. Uh, Layton's missed the show, but I think McGrill was brought in to take over. Nuno, someone said, and Mike D says, good sh good shout. Um, Facebook user, agree with Gov. We need someone to Why get would Nuno, up. why would Nuno manage in the Premier League and then come to get real I mean, Mike D? I mean, Jose Living lost in tonight. fantasy. Jose lost tonight. I mean, put the, put the call in, Brett. Jose Mourinho, you know what I mean? Like you did with, with Drogba. Facebook user, agree with Gov. We Thank you very much. We need someone to get out of this league, like Warnock, even if we had to get rid when we get to the championship. Uh, Ashley, imagine that the, the media coverage will be on telly every week. We would. George Carr, only one Alex Griffin. There is. Praise, we love Alex Griffin on this show. Great, good friend of the, of, the, of the network. John Ipswich, we are low enough to be first thing. I won't happen higher up. Yeah, that's what I think. I think she, she's up for a much bigger job than, in the men's game than... Than little old Ipswich. Is Lampard unrealistic, Kurt? Uh, asks Ryan. Nah, see, the only issue is with Lampard coming in is that we would need to change our name to Frank Lampard. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is the only issue. That's it's not just, a bad thing, though. Don't make, me, don't make me laugh, Kurt. It's because I've got a bad cough. He's, um, <laughs> talk, talk about Lampard. He did, he did, a, he did a podcast the other day with uh, Gary Neville, and it was, it, was quite, it was quite a good insight to his time at Chelsea and Derby. Um, but no, I, I, pers I personally don't think Lampard would drop down. I think, I think, I think he's got a bit of man going syndrome. I, I don't think Lampard actually would drop down to League One. I think, I think he thinks he is a lot better than League One. So I, th I think the lowest he'd go is, is top 10 championship. But I, th I think he'd already ruled himself out of this job. Chris Hewton, Colin, send you to oh, sleep. Says he'd send you to Houston. sleep, Colin, but get you promoted. Another ex Norwich manager. No thanks. I, I ain't bothered about that. I'd but I think, Martin, I understand where you're coming from, but I think you have to look at it from from the point of view of being ex Norwich. I mean, yeah, people say it doesn't matter. It does matter. It matters to me. It matters to a lot of people, I'll tell you. It matters to a lot of people. Can you imagine um, the banter we'd, we'd have, though, if, if it was Lampard, Colin, having told Norwich no? He told <laughs> Delia no because he heard the mighty blue and white <laughs> were in the hunt. Like you know, that's that's banner, isn't it? That's already a one-nil win. That is. Oh, I don't. I do what I'd. I'd love Lampard to come in. I would. I would but who and oh my god, no. Who, who and or Alex now in the bin? In, in in the bin for me. In the bin for me. No, I don't want no <laughs> Norwich manager. No, I don't. What about Chambers and Skews double? Like? Oh, what about Chambers and Skews double? Like? That, that, that's oh, that's that's what, that's what that, that was what it's all leading to, isn't it? I'd set fire to my season ticket. Um, <laughs> no, I'd be on iFollow every week, like Rich would be if uh, Boothroyd came in. Um, we've got I, don't, I, I like I like the Hewton idea. We've got isn't Alex still still employed by Pre Preston, or have I been asleep for the no. last eight? 
gone. Has he gone? No, Has he, he went really? last year. Yeah, he went last year. Who's in charge of Preston then? Uh, Carl, I can't remember his like, assistant. That's like Rat. That was like Rafa going. That's like Rafa going to Everton. That's gone well, isn't it? Well, wait long Not enough, really. it might be available. Safety guy twenty. Still think this site <laughs> was rushed purchase. Just look at who we're buying. More sense in January. Does Lampard have links to the area? Yes. And, um, friend of the show, Daniel Hill, says he does have links to the area. I'm not quite sure what those are. Daniel, if you do know, let us know. That's a good point. Eddie Howe in, says Billy. You're a bit sleepy. You're a bit late on that. Uh, Leighton Durham, pa pa patron saint of tickets. That's brilliant. Um, yeah, he, he is. He is. Uh, Matt Stunner, excuse plan manager to fill the cold skew-shaped hole we've got in our midfield. Behave. Sam Moore sees twice the black goal skews if, if it could be. Um, Warnock with with Holland says uh, Khalid Mahmood. I don't think Matt Holland would ever take a manager. Would manager your no, job. why would he? He's he nah, he got. He in the media. Exactly. Rich, you ought, you ought to be Rich. You ought to be sitting there with one of them big cigars on. One of them big cigars on tonight. I've got a big hey, tree here. I've got a big Show tree calling it fucking. Show him the TV. Show him the TV. Where is it? Oh, got, hang on. Got no, seven, Keep talking. Get, get no, that 70 no, inch no. out. Yes. He's got a great big 70 inch TV. I wonder what he's going to say there. He's got, <laughs> he's got a 70 inch up. He didn't like my comment. <laughs> Fucking hell. Doesn't really he do it justice. You didn't like my comment in the fact in the WhatsApp oh. group, did you, when you bought it? What was that? When you, when you bought it, I said, you were like, what? What? You weren't happy with that comment. You didn't like I it. I take it you actually got it in the car. Oh, you go. Gonna... Not mine. Oh, not yours, right? I'd call for backup. Go. Yeah. He's got yeah. he's got a queue of about ten, 10 people outside waiting to come in for ten quid each to watch a film. They don't have to. It's seventy <laughs> inches. They're outside in the street watching it for free. That's the um, uh, that's the new cinema. Are you yes, going to Wigan? Yes, I'll be at Wigan. I will Ryan be there. Lowe. Is another loud mouth scout. I've got, says, oh, I've got to change me. I've got to change my article for the program that I've wrote now, Martin, because oh. there were some questions in there about Cookie's formation. Chris, Chris Boyd, <laughs> you, that that was probably would have one line. You'd imagine Ashton would run it a was. more formal process than Evans having a chat with Harry on the golf course. A short list presented to Game Changer and maybe interview process. Ben said you can't beat my eighty incher. All right, lad, stop waving it all about in the chat. Your TV's your TV's. All right. <laughs> Um, Cruncher are uh, having to move from the west wing to the east wing. That's Matt <laughs> Phillips. We hear he's at home watching Strictly come dancing. Callie says he's now loading up, so we'll finish the show in a second with Callie. Uh, safety guy 20 McGraw will be used as a temp manager if he works. He will get a contract if he fouls. He's easy to be in. I just think we should be setting our sights higher, Coxie, than John McGraw. No disrespect. His best job, though, was Colchester and finishing, I think, sixth if, at best. If that. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's, he's just he's just gonna probably gonna be the caretaker along with Clue. I can't see him being the long term. He, he wouldn't have been he would be nowhere even in the mix, Coxie, if he ain't played for town. True, yeah, true. Sam Take Albright? the blue tinted glasses off. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> fancy Sam Allardyce? Well, there's a stony That's silence you. there. It was it was, wasn't it? Um, Josh for manager, Cole Robinson. Says, and that's quite a one that keeps coming up is Carl Robinson. Yeah. I do like Carl Robinson. Good manager. Yeah. Matt Matt did Matt did um mention his name today. Very nice. He's good also, manager. Also, he's what I did years ago, I think when Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. He was MK, I think. McCarthy, yeah. He's yeah. also a family guy. I remember uh, I think it might be in BBC's <laughs> focus segment on him and he and he's and he's I think it was his daughter, I think, from memory. But you know, he's a family guy, we're a family club, he's a good manager, progressive. Uh, obviously likes James Nord going by the press report so um, that could be a way back for Norwood but um, yeah I'd be interested in Carl Robinson what about you Kurt? He's, I mean, he's, he's, he's done well he's done well enough with Oxford consistently hasn't he? Mm. He's, he's, yeah. he's, he's, done, he's done well enough with them so if you think about the resources that we can provide them I mean I mean it's, it's, it's one of them we it's all hope, isn't it? You'd hope that with the resources that we could provide, that he could then take us further compared to what he's done with Oxford. But yeah, well, I won't be, I won't be adverse. It's not like a, it's not something that gets me, get, gets my hair standing up on the, on my arm. But yeah, it's a, it's, it's a good. Who would you go for, Kurt? Who would you go for if you could pick a manager? And you can't say me. I, 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 if, if I'm honest, because I wasn't, because I wasn't expecting this tonight. 
I think it's too early. I, there's there's so many names going through my head. I, th- I mm. think I think I think I think I think it's going to take me a couple of days to actually think about who I'd want. Yes, I yeah, I agree. Absolutely, and we'll be back tomorrow with some more reason debate. Obviously, not an instant reaction. I will bring Kurt in. Uh, not Kurt, sorry. I will bring Callie in the moment he shows up in the VIP area for those that want the king in. As I keep seeing in the chat, bear with me, or not me, bear with him. Um, he's taking his sweet <coughs> time. Would the five year didn't Appleton sign a five year deal recently? And is, would that be a huge issue? Do you think, Rich? They're not worth them. Paper to roll, roll on all of these contracts nowadays. It's compensation, though, isn't it? Yeah, but if, if we really wanted him, we will go and get him. Okay. Would that excite he, you, my, Michael? He, no. Here he is, the king. You, the, the, Callie, the chat have been calling for you for the last 20 <laughs> minutes. They've been saying, where's the king? Bring the king in. Bring the friend. king in. Come on. And I said I'd bring him in once he was here. Here he is. Um, what are your thoughts? Well... Um, ten yeah. four. Say that again. Ten four. <laughs> He's talking. I, I can't fucking hear. You. Ignore. No, 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 no. That that that's why I've ignored him. That's why I've ignored him on that. <laughs> hey, listen, the, the New Zealand the lad did great. He took ten wickets. So yeah, it is what it is. So <laughs> it didn't matter, Colin. It didn't before. matter because India bowled him out for sixty-two anyway. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Callum, um, you, no. you literally said, yeah. um Cookie staying," and then about forty-five minutes later, I know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. I was, uh, I thought he was staying. I thought he was staying, but apparently, um, yeah, the powers that be have uh, exercised their right of owners and uh, said, no, we need to get someone else in, which is a bit, um, not for, well, maybe frustrating, I don't know. But you talked about a long-term project and you were told by, I was listening earlier with the, the lad from Barcelona and he was spot on in terms of what you were saying about, Ashton and Cole talked about the manager will be back, this, that, and the other. It was a bit of a weird one to sack him now. Um, you're going to now get your get your man in, hopefully before the Barrow replay. Um, and then he'll take his first game, maybe obviously the Barrow game, or maybe the definitely by the Sunderland game anyway. But it, the problem you've got is now momentum. I know we haven't got any, right? But we have played some good football. Now you're gonna now you're gonna look at um you're gonna look at a manager coming in now who's got to regardless of whether this is Ashton's squad or Cookie's squad or whatever, it's not the new manager's squad. So this new manager, the the problem I've got is I've got deja vu of when Hurst got sacked, and it will be a case of okay, let's write this season off and let's start again next season. But we can't be doing that. We we still need to be challenging. Um, and if we don't go up this season, then you know the owners have to take responsibility as well. You know they've got rid of Cook, and if the if the predecessor comes in and can't get us promoted, then then there's a serious problem there. Um, I thought Norwood's comments were interesting. Um, we've alluded to that. I know um, uh, Crunch has alluded to it quite a lot on the show previously, but you know that he's not going to play again, and it's not because of Cook. It's because of you know your standards and culture and everything that's driven by at the top. The question the fans should be asking is, of the 19 signings, how many were Cook signings and how many were Ashton signings? When we talk about we've got so many people playing in, you know, in different roles, um, you know, so many number 10s playing across the front three. Why is that? Have we just recruit? Is it because we're just going off the dashboard recruitment rather than actual, you know, the dashboard is one aspect of recruitment. There's so many aspects of it. Um, it's just a shocker, really, to be honest. My my thing, really, for jumping on here is because I know a lot of people on on here and in the chat as well were talking about, yeah, we've got, um, you know, you wanted to get rid of Cook and you've wanted to get rid of Cook for a while, and that's fine. So to those people who were saying it for a while, as you said, Martin, I, 45 minutes ago, I was saying, well, 45 minutes after the game, I was saying, mm. now nah, I think Cook will stay. So for the for the people that you know have been cook out, cook out or whatever, who are the people that come in? Because all the names that everyone's mentioned are, are shit. You know, and it wouldn't surprise me if there is an ex Norwich manager coming in um to do the job at least till the end of the season. I don't think uh McGrill will will be the manager long term or whatever. I don't even think he'll he'll take it might it might take charge on Tuesday, but uh, I think otherwise you'll probably well, actually, yeah, it'll have to be him because Kieran Dyson is away from the club at the moment. And I believe that 
its cook and all this stuff that have been relieved of their duties. Yeah, which is a bit is worrying because then who, who the fuck's going to take training on Monday? Well, <laughs> clue, you know, clue will take it. Yeah, you've got Clue, you've got McGrill there. Just um, bring Matt Gill back. <laughs> yes, Matt give Gill it Gilly to end the season. Uh, Simon Ward, if they're going to make a, do a change, it's the right time to do it. Give the manager a time to see a squad and see what's in January. Also, just before pack out PR, Cali talks sense all the time. Says Leighton Durant. I don't think about. I don't know about that. I, I really don't know about that <laughs> at all. Uh, Mark, I'll Adam pay Lamp, him later. I'll pay Lamp, him later. I did not want it because he had no money before. Uh, we scout. Ex no, but sorry, just on, that, just, just, mm-hmm. just on that, just, just on that Lampard comment. Yeah. You're talking about Lampard didn't want it before when we hit because we didn't have money. Okay, we got money now, but that was Frank Lampard at the beginning of his managerial career. At his CV now, he's got Derby on there, he's got Chelsea on yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. They ain't coming. They're not, I, I get what you're saying in terms of yes, we need. You know, we've been surprised with the caliber of players that we've signed, mm. so we could be surprised with the caliber of manager that comes in. But there's only a certain amount of managers available. You, otherwise, you're going to pay stupid uh, clauses or stupid kind of like I guess transfer fees or whatever they're called for managers as well. Mm-hmm. Who are you going to get? So you, yeah. you're not going to get your John Terry's. You're not going to get your, um, you know, I mean, if yeah, even John Terry, he's probably more likely a chance than Frank Lampard coming in. But even John Terry, I think he's made it clear that he wouldn't he wouldn't drop below the championship. So, not many managers will, though. That's the, that's the thing, which is why Rob Edwards, I mentioned earlier, for me, you know, he's stepping up from Forest Green, a good developer of players. I will take you up on your point about how the cookouters, obviously, I'm one of those cooked outers. I have been since Bolton. No, no, cook outers. Mm. Um, for me, mm. it's, it's, it's a man that's flexible and adaptable because I think, and I, and I know football's not played on paper, and I'm keen to stress that, but genuinely unlike last year when we sacked the manager last year and everyone was saying how great the squad was and i was saying i don't think it is i genuinely think this squad is a good squad of players good characters good ability a good mix of everything you need in a decent football team pace power all of that it just needs somebody who's a lot more flexible and a lot more adaptable you know we go we go two up in games and then the other team adjusts and then we don't adjust to their adjustment to, to keep ourselves in front. We just we just we just keep it the same. And today was the first time for me he went four four two. I know he says different. So not necessarily about mm. maybe another manager. And and quite frankly, we've gone to <coughs> sexy names in the past and none of them have worked out. So if it's not a sexy name, it doesn't get the hairs on the back of your neck standing up, or it doesn't seem like an instant upgrade. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with giving it time because I think this squad. It's a very good squad, and it just needs somebody who's got a tactical manual that goes past page one. Chapter Can you one. clip that? Can you clip that, please? <laughs> you'll say you'll give him time. I will. I will give him time. No, but, I will. Okay, but we don't. Okay, so this was the season we need to get out. Just because, just because Cookie ain't here now. <laughs> Sounds about right. Just because Cookie ain't here now doesn't mean we still can't get out of the. We still shouldn't be going to get out of the league this year. That was the big, that was the objective at the beginning of the season. It just so happened Paul Cook was the manager then. Yeah. Paul Cook is no longer the manager, but Ipswich Town Football Club is still there and the objective is still the same. Now, yeah. when we look at the uh, sorry, I forget the guy that you just said, the Forest Green guy as an example. Rob Edwards. Stepping up. Rob Edwards, right? So step step the step up. Is it is it is he gonna be able to have instant success that's gonna Push us on a run. He comes make us with momentum, six. though. He's top of the table. He comes with momentum. We've not had a manager arrive. Do you momentum. really think, Mike, we're going to go for a League Two manager, honestly? Well, I yeah, I, I can't I, see that happening. I didn't see us going for Burst and Selena, but he, he runs around Botman Road every Saturday now. Yeah, but that's, like, that's two different scales, though, isn't it? You, you're looking at like. It's an ambitious. That's like. That's like on, the, on the player side, that's like saying, let's bring Hawkins back. Like, yeah. you know, it's, and no one it mentioned Drennan to me this afternoon. Right? Scored today. Fuck, I still knew it. He did score today. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew it was I just, I, I just don't see. It. And um, I, I do get it, and I do get the frustrations. And I know, you know, Chambers had said had said some stuff on a. Well, he just posted an Insta story, and I had an actual little chat with him just now. Anyway, Ooh, and it was friends. quite interesting. No, not like that. But it was quite interesting, like what they were saying as well, because it's he's saying, look, Ipswich have got a really good squad. But why have they not progressed? And, and he's got a good point. Like every player that's come in, I know the coaching, the backroom staff, and all the rest of it. You know, you're not just recruiting a manager now. You've got to find the right coaches. And as we've seen, it's not just the manager you bring in. Cook had a great CV. 
he didn't have the right coaches around him or whatever it's whatever's been his downfall here we can is that just going to repeat itself in the next appointment and my fear i honestly see this as is deja vu of the championship season except we won't get relegated we'll just stay mid table and and then we'll be like let's build again for next season the problem you've got is you've probably signed players this year who have signed with a view to be playing in the championship the following season so if they're not going to be playing there they'll be leaving so so then you've got to do another rebuild and then there's that another gelling period and all the rest of it and all of a sudden it's, it's deja vu history repeating itself and before you know it it's four five six years we're still in league one yeah, you see, we just need to find the right and i think the dynamics of the football club <coughs> finally changing and, I, and that's why I think it'll be a head coach because we're shifting from this prehistoric 1990s model where the manager is responsible for everything from recruitment to player retention everything to it is now driven by those upstairs in the director's box they are because then what you get into is a Watford model and I know people get sick to death of me saying Watford but it's true they're now a bigger side than us they're now playing the Premier mm. League they sat their managers for fun but nothing ever truly changes because they have that model where mm. the head coach mm. in their instance is just interchangeable he's a face and a name with an idea or two everything else is is done above him um you know and that's I, what the top I think you're right there. Like. and I think you are right there in terms of the head coach that's the kind of uh, kind of um, thing we need to be aiming for rather mm. than like this this manager role but that head coach is it's you don't see it a lot with English managers you don't see no. a lot of English head coaches so to speak so it is and we have tried we've tried the only thing we haven't tried before in the past so we've tried the club legends we've tried the young up and coming managers we've tried the you know the the big name in Roy Keane and stuff like that we've tried the tied and tested dinosaur in Mick McCarthy and stuff like that before the only thing we haven't done is, is a is a big foreign manager. Yeah. Now I don't know too much about football on the continent or whatever, but um, you know there are some great managers coming out there. At our level, I don't know who would be able to tra- who would be able to attract. But if you look at up the road uh, or down the road for me, up the road for you guys, uh, Norwich when they bought in um, uh, Farker, obviously he was pretty unknown certainly over here. Yes. Absolutely. And he was, he was a foreign appointment. And, you know, I hate to say he did a good job for him. Um, he's got certainly got them playing at a high level than, than us and looking at, certainly since he's been in Norwich, he, he's, he's been a, made Norwich a better team than what we've been during that yeah. period of time. It is the head coaching, though, because we've now got all this stuff behind. You're just going to have a head coach there with the right kind of recruitment, with the right kind of um, mm. coaching setup as well. But it's just who who was there, who was available, and at the moment, I, I don't know. Yeah, which is why Warnock would work because obviously January comes around. You still have the recruitment policy of, of upstairs. I don't think Warnock. I don't think Warnock would do. No, well, no, because Warnock, Warnock wants a bit. You're gonna have your hands tied to a point here. So, and I don't mean you're gonna be you know, your hands tied all the time. But there's gonna be certain things that you're gonna have um, your hands tied on, and Warnock ain't gonna want that. Warnock wants that free reign. Warlock is a tried and tested professional. Certainly, if he's coming down here uh, to League One, he'll know that he'll be able to help and do these things. Yeah. It's an interesting time. We'll be here tomorrow, 1.30. We're talking town, the normal show with Matt Phillips, Rich, Kate Riley and myself, breaking it down more more measured feedback as we digest the news, etc. Hopefully, you all guys and girls will get involved. I think for tonight, we've chewed the fat and there's not you'll much have a, more. You'll have a certain fisherman tomorrow. We will. We will. Rob Smith, I know it's another pool, but can understand the owner's looking at Warren from Rotherham. He knows how to get out of this league. Ashton wants a pushover. Disagree with that. I think Ashton... Thing is, I think it's very... Yeah, if we go that route, it's, I'm okay with that because then you can start criticising people like Ashton, Andy Rolls, etc. for the recruitment. And it's, it's it's the modern game. That's what I keep thinking to myself. Like, it's the way the way the, way the world is going. But... I think, is there anything else you, you want to say before we go tonight? Is there anything else that I've, I've not covered, we've not covered, we've missed? Any thoughts, any final any final feelings? Oh, I Could just I just say something? Phillips. Hang on, one at a time. Go on, first. You go, Colin. I just want to say thank you very much to Paul Cook. You know, I think he's been, you know, I just think he's been a good man. And, you know, we've got no grudges against you whatsoever, young man. And I just, I, I like wish him well. Wish him well. Absolutely. Go on, Kelly. I just want to hear what um, CEO of the Drama Queen of Society, Mr. Matt Phillips, 
well, who he wants to have as his manager because he's obviously <laughs> been thinking about this for months on end. I don't want no wishy-washy thing because he's been thinking about it for a while and he's been very, very vocal and had his colours uh, nailed to the mast and everything. I, have, I expect I have to find my shortlist. Yeah, I have, I have noticed. <laughs> I have noticed. Matt, no, listen, Matt knows I love him, right? But so it's all love, right? But I want Callie, to find my Callie. shortlist. He's got a very yes, short man. list, Matt short Phillips. List, also, yeah. short <laughs> list. Is that because he's short? <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Um, interesting to get his points tomorrow. We're back on 30, as I say. Thank you for watching. You can support us through YouTube, Super Chat, or through Ko-Fi. Um, Kurt, Coxie, anything you want to say before, you, before we leave? I don't know. Hopefully onwards and uh, hopefully upwards. Absolutely. John Buckley, all the best, Paul. So I wish you was our manager for the next 10 years. I'm I'm glad it wasn't ten minutes longer. Um, but that's that's football. That's different opinions for you. Uh, can you get a catch up? You certainly can, Leighton Durant. Just go back to the start and watch us all over again. But for now, we're done. We're dusted. That's the king. That's the goat. That's the patron saint of tickets. That is the artist uh, Curtis Yates. That is Brick Top. We are talking town. Thank you for watching. Bye bye, Mister. We're on a journey. Looking back on the things that we've taken for granted But feels like we're learning To be better without what's been holding us back now